Hello everybody and welcome back to the Literal Gamer 81 channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up CEMU to play your Wii U games on your PC. So let's get started. What you will need is your PC and a, a controller. Whether that be an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller, either one looks fine. And then you want to go to your internet browser and you want to go to CEMU.info, which I'll leave a link in the description to. And you want to go over these system requirements. And if you have a graphics card, go over these graphics card, graphics card requirements. So for the system requirements, you will have to have Windows 7 or 64-bit or Windows 10 64-bit. Uh, and if you're using the Windows 11 uh, uh, Insider builds, I don't, I'm, I don't think that'll work with this. And you want to have OpenGL 4.5 or, or Vulkan 1.1, but most computers already have OpenGL. If you're, if you're on the latest version of Windows or something. And you want to have a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM, but 8 gigabytes is more recommended. And then you want to have Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 64-bit redish, redistributable. And the download link for that is right there. So if you don't already have it, just click on that. Then just go over the setup process, and then over the setup process and then once you've done that you if you have a graphics card you want to check over this so if you have an nvidia graphics card it runs it runs as expected on the most recent driver same thing for amd but just avoid open avoid open gl because there's bad performance and then if you're using an intel gpu just use vulcan but like if you're not using any graphics card and you're just using the the Intel GPU that comes built in with your computer or whatever, then that works perfectly fine with OpenGL. Then latest release, CEMU, this is just the latest release of it. And then this controller input, that's just the controller input that it supports. And then performance, this is just because it's not intended for general use yet. So then once you've gone over all of that, just click down the latest version. And then, while that's and then once that's installing, or while it's still installing, you want to go to cemuhook.sshnuke.net and scroll down until you get to downloads and then on current version you want to click here and it should be for the latest version of CEMU but if you are if when you install this it is version 1.24.0 ob or the 1.24 CEMU hook will not work but this this is only for games that have internal timers, but I'm pretty sure it'll still work with the with the newest version of CEMU. So then once you've done that, you can close out of your browser. You want and then you want to go to your file explorer, and then downloads, and then you want to you want to right click on C on the CEMU folder and click extract here. And then once that's done, you want to drag the CEMU hook folder into your into your CEMU folder that you just extracted. Then open up the CEMU folder. Right click on the CEMU hook.zip and then click extract here. And then open up CEMU, which should be in the same directory. And then once you've done this, you this menu should pop up. This custom MLC01 path, it'll automatically generate one. So you don't have to put this in. This is just optional. And then here browse. You want to make a folder for um for your for the games. And this is also optional. You could always go back and do this. If you want to do this now, just go to your desk. I would recommend putting the folder in your desktop, or you can just put it anywhere else. Then once you've gone there, right-click, click New, then Folder, and then just make a name for it. I'll make mine CEMU Games. I mean, CEMU Emulator Games. Then hit Enter. Click Select Folder. And then click Download Community Graphics Packs, and it should take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your computer. Then once you've done that, click Next. Then click Configure Input. Now this is also optional, but I'm just going to go over this right now. And then here, type a name for your profile. So I would just recommend putting like a, a name for your profile for like your controller. So I'm using Xbox, an Xbox One controller, so I'm going to put Xbox One Controller. And then here, you want to emulate the controller. I would recommend using the Wii U Gamepad because you need this for most games. So just cl or you or you could use the Pro Controller or the Classic Controller Pro, and then click keyboard, and then here c the controller API. If you just want to use the keyboard, you can just leave that there. If you want to 
if you want to use uh, an Xbox controller, you use X input. If you want to use a Wiimote, you just select Wiimote. If you and if you want to use a GameCube controller, just select GameCube. And I will go over how to how to use the Wiimotes with CEMU in a future video. But then just here, just select the input of your controller, and then here click controller, and your controller should pop up. And then here you can set the inputs for your controller. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. So plus minus. Click up, down, left, right. Click up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. And then, if you're on the Xbox controller by now, you should you should have run out of inputs. So I'm just gonna for so for these inputs, I'm just gonna put something on my keyboard like M and N. And then just click click save. And now you can close out of this. And then and now you can click close. And once you've done that, you have successfully set up CEMU for your PC. Now. Next video, I will. Uh, next time, I will make a video on how to get games for your emulator. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you in enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton. And I'll see you in the next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.